People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. My soaps, Purple Butterfly soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. And my t-shirt designs, purplebutterfly-people.tmail.com. And as you can tell, I look a little different today, don't I? <laughs> yes. This is my new solution for the goggles that was, I mean, I wear glasses and I can't not wear glasses. These are progressive lenses. So basically they're regular, uh, midline, and then bifocal, trifocal. So yeah, when I try to wear goggles without the glasses, I'm seeing a blur. I'm guessing at what I'm doing. And when I wear the glasses, I can see, know exactly what I'm doing. And then you put the goggles on and it's pressing in in an uncomfortable fashion. Um, if you look at some of the videos, you'll see uh, little white pieces of paper towel because it would get on there and it would, you know, like try to form a seal and then it would sweat and be steamy and all that. And that was just impossible so then you end up taking the goggles off or working through sweat whereas you know asked a few friends they said well why don't you just use a face shield Duh. so now having my glasses I have a face shield this face shield assembly costs 20 bucks, no lie. I was replacing goggles every so often because they get, um, you know, stuff that's permanently embedded on there or scratched up or whatever. They were $5 each, uh, one pair cost $10. They lasted almost a year, but you know, that stuff adds up. Whereas this assembly set cost 20 bucks. This part of it, just the clear shield, cost five dollars. This will last for years. I only have to replace the uh, ratchet set. Oh, and then just in the back, I can make that tighter or looser. Got that clicky action going on. So if I got it too tight, I can always loosen it up without having to touch anything. Like you know, I'm good to go. So basically, I did have trouble when I was trying to adjust it or put it on rather. It's got a part that clicks here and then it slides in here because this part is replaceable. And I didn't know about the little ratcheting um, adjusters on the side to give you the friction. So when I first put it on it, this part went completely down here. And it would not stay, it just kept sliding. So that's when I found out about this part, and simple fix. All I did was watch a video, I typed in the name 3M Face Shield, and boom, there's a video Tell me exactly what to do, how to do it, and why to do it. So when I make soap now, this will be what you see for when I make soap. And. My glasses are filthy, nasty, dirty. And say for instance, I just needed protection. With or without my glasses, this will protect my face. Yes. So get yourself one of these. I got this one at Zorro.com. Um, just type in face shield instead of goggles. See, I've been typing in goggles for years because that's where I get my goggles and my nitriles and everything industrial or heavy duty or whatever because they're just simply cheaper because that's the industry they're in and that's what they do. I mean, the glasses that, the goggles rather, that I was paying 20 bucks for everywhere else, especially if you go to Walmart, don't go to Walmart for goggles. They had them for three bucks or five dollars or whatever the nitro gloves that come up to here that are 16 and 15 and 20 dollars everywhere else there's only three bucks there so you know check them out but in the meantime I have been inspired to make soap today 
is some uh, springtimey, summery, so I'm going to make a springtime inspired soap. And I'm going to be using my new face shield to do it. Y'all stay blessed, stay tuned. Bye now. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-peopleof.blogspot.com. My soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at peopleof.etsy.com. And my t-shirt designs, purplebutterfly-peopleof.tmail.com. Y'all stay blessed, stay tuned. I think I said that twice in a row. Oh, check the video. But lately I've been saying things in a repeat type format, which means the aphasia is coming back. But we won't worry about that. The doctor gave me the all clear, or the neuro neuro neurologist rather. So that just means I'm thinking too much, thinking too fast, trying to get a lot of things said. In the meantime, my brain is working on this solution here while I'm doing this solution there. So that just means slow it down think it twice anyway don't forget to rate comment and subscribe bye now